Have you ever looked at an old photo or video and thought, wait, was it really like that? Or maybe you and a friend remember the same event completely differently. Here's the thing, memory isn't perfect. It's constantly being rewritten. And now, more than ever, social media is doing the rewriting for us. So is it possible that social media is actually changing our memories? Memory doesn't work like a camera. Every time you recall something, you're not just retrieving it, you're reconstructing it. And each time you do, tiny details can change. A study by Elizabeth Loftus, one of the world's leading memory researchers, shows us just how malleable memory really is. In one experiment, participants were shown footage of a car crash and asked how fast each of the cars was going. Some people were asked how fast were the cars going when they smashed into each other, while others were asked how fast were they going when they hit each other. That one word, smashed, led some people to remember the event as much more violent than it actually was. Some people even recalled seeing broken glass that wasn't there. Now, add social media to the mix. Think of the last time you took a photo. What was your first instinct? Post it, caption it, maybe add a filter? That's not just recording a moment, it's shaping the way you'll remember it. A study published in Psychological Science found that people who took photos of museum exhibits actually remember fewer details compared to those who just looked at them. This is called the photo-taking impairment effect. When we rely on cameras, our brain assumes the memory is stored somewhere else and doesn't encode it as deeply. And over time, the curated version of a moment, the one with the best lighting, the best angle, the best caption, becomes the version we remember. And then there's nostalgia, the kind that hits you when an old post pops up on your feed. It feels like a time capsule, but here's the thing. Social media is choosing which memories to resurface. You're not remembering the full picture, just what the algorithm thinks you want to see. A study by Nature Communications found that memory is heavily influenced by what we recall most often. The more a memory is revisited, the stronger it becomes, while other memories fade into the background. And sometimes, social media even creates these false memories. Ever see a post about some childhood thing that everybody apparently remembers? A toy, a TV show, a phrase, but you're not quite sure if you actually remember it? A study from the Journal of Applied Research in Memory and Cognition found that 30% of participants could be convinced that they had experienced a completely fake childhood event just by seeing doctored photos or hearing repeated suggestions. Social media constantly recycles nostalgic content, making some memories feel real, whether they happen to you or not. So what do we do with all this? Quit social media? Maybe. But there are other ways we can keep our memories from being rewritten. First, be intentional. A study in the Journal of Experimental Psychology found that when people actively focus on an experience without distractions, they remember it more vividly. Second, write things down. Research from Harvard University shows that journaling strengthens memory and recall because writing engages more cognitive processes than just looking at a photo. And third, question nostalgia. Not every throwback post is telling the truth. Sometimes, even our own memories need a fact check. Memories make us who we are, but social media, it's quietly editing them. So next time you're scrolling through your past online, ask yourself, is this really how it happened?